Oh, you guys, I think I'm gonna go Kai'Sa. It's a really good Kai'Sa, and I did see quite a few Kai'Sa's. I think I saw a lot of Kai'Sa's, actually. I could go Samira as well. Samira or Kai'Sa? Kai'Sa? Samira, Samira, Kai'Sa? Samira? It's around the same. A bit more Kai'Sa's, maybe. I forgot that this account is uh, unlocked, <laughs> and I haven't played on it at all. That's kind of stupid, no? You know what? We could try this game. We could try the Halo Blades Kai'Sa build, because I feel like... The... What if I go the Halo Blades AP build? What do you guys think? I don't know what secondary usually go, though. Maybe something like this. I could also just go normal build just with Halo Blades. But the Man Immune Ludens build, the guy went last game, didn't look bad. I don't think it looked bad. And it should be good into Ziggs. I can like poke him out. What is normally a Zeri angle in your opinion? It's just a lane where you feel like you can free scale. I mean, this wasn't a, a bad Zeri game. I don't like Zeri that much with Pike because you kind of want to fight them and kill them. And Zeri is not very good at that. Kai'Sa is much better at that. Did I go... I, I think let's try the, the, the Man Immune build. Although Static is also very good here. Like Wave Clear against Six is very nice. But I kind of want to try the Man Immune build. I haven't tried it yet. Oh. You have Flash, you can look for it now. Oh, we killed him top. I'll take a fast base, I think. You can see here, like, how much pressure Pike has to walk up and hook. And a lot of that is because he's playing Pike, right? And he's strong. But it's also because I'm playing a champion that he can, like, follow up on. Well, if I was playing a weaker champion... It'll be much harder for Pike to make things happen because then they could actually fight. So now that we've secured level 2, I want to just stop push as much as possible. It's really good by Pike. The tower shot wasn't the best, but we should still kill them. Very nice. We get level 2 first. You slow push and then enemy gets like tilted because they can't farm because you're level 2. Then they walk up a bit too much. Your engaged support is able to find an angle. And then I want to crash the wave. I don't really like this because I would rather just base to be honest. And then I can get double longsword. Maybe I go call actually. Because with this man immune build, I do remember before that you wanted to go call to uh, the queue of all faster once you completed man immune. Whatever Mars is this, it's like diamond. Low diamond, mid diamond. Is this new Kaisa W? No, they never shipped that. Making a classic mistake. Oh wait, no, he's not making a classic mistake because his general is right behind him, but we can fight this though. It's 2v3. Oh my goodness, Pike. Morphing. I can't believe he got the stun there. But ideal base be tier call. No, you don't really care about completing tier in this uh when you play this build on Kaisa. Because you stack tier so slow that most of the stacking you're getting is from um like that was on auto. Could be fine though. The wave doesn't end up being crazy. But I have three kills already. Now I just want to slow push this as slow as possible. I know it's not gonna freeze, but I still don't want to push it. Because if I if I slow push this slower, you can see that minions of mine are dying, so six is losing more minions. And then I can build up a big wave, and then six is gonna walk up trying to see us, and then Pike is gonna get a hook on him again. And then he's gonna die again. Though now Bard is roaming. So if Bard continues roaming now on next wave, I will hard push, and then we dive. But because Bard is running back to bot, I'll just continue slow pushing. And now you can see, Six is walking up because he wants the last hit. I hits the hook. I think we have another kill on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Might have to flash for it. Yeah, I do. Bit, bit bad pathing by me here. Made me have to flash. Could maybe dive the Bard as well. Nah. Can't dive the bard. Wanna just take my base here. Don't wanna hit tower. Don't wanna hit next wave. Don't wanna waste any time. If you need to base, just base. You hear that? Bro, it sounds like someone on stinky mouth breathing. I think they're not a Jack Spectra subscriber. Holy sh. Ugh. What the f? You gotta subscribe, beast. I've seen so many people ruin their tempo over getting one plate, getting one more wave, and then it just it f***s everything up. The game looks so much easier to play if you're just like, once you need to base, don't hit tower, don't hit anything, just base. Because now you can see, I barely lose any minions, Six is gonna be even more f and who cares if I would've gotten 125 gold, you know? It's like, I would've gotten a longsword instead of boots, it's whatever. Like, if you can complete the full item hitting tower, then you can make an argument for it, but if it's like, whatever, the gold as well, Never hit tower. Like, if you have 1200 gold and you want to base on BF sword, then I think you could ask yourself, will I be able to base? Like, it can be worth to get the BF sword and drop a wave, but if your base gets cancelled and you have to stay, then it's never worth. I want to ping, like, on my way here so the pike understands I want to fight. 
And we can see if he finds the hook. He does. In the six is uh, hooking a bit. I don't know why he doesn't just W himself away. I'm not sure. Making me look real good right now. Best thing about playing this build is it's like it's a mega scaling build. So if you get ahead early, it just like oof. you know that you're really gonna take this game over. Okay, six comes back. Okay, so here I I, I did the mistake I was talking about, right? Where if I wanted to base, I should never hit tower here. But because I'm full HP and half mana, I'm fine with staying. Because I kind of want to stay until I have mana immune. So as long as you're willing to actually stay and you're able to stay, hitting tower like this is fine. But if you're not able to stay, like if I was low and I did this, it would be really bad. But now I'm going to get this melee minion. The next wave is not the cannon, so I'm wanting to stay one more wave. And then I think I'm going to pretend that I based here. And the Six is going to walk up. Pike is going to be here. I'll start fighting the Six to make it harder for him to juke. Nice, we get the six. I want to take this pathing here, so I lose less minions, but I knew Bard wanted to stun me, which is why I was thinking about not taking it, but it's fine, it's fine. I have to push one more wave now. We crash this wave. Now again, I really this time I have to base, you know? Like there's no way I'm staying on this HP and this this gold and this mana. So now I will never hit tower, you know. I'm just gonna push this wave ASAP and then I'm gonna hundred percent base. Now I, I don't know if I have Q evolve now because I'm so accelerated. Maybe I should just pick up a long sword just to get Q evolve. Maybe that gives me it. Even though I won't actually use the Q evolve in my build, I think it's worth it to continue snowballing. I'm trying to cancel the Kai's evolve here by pressing B and then clicking on the Q upgrade at the same time. Yeah, so buying Sapphire Crystal there wouldn't be bad for sure. It's just this way I get Q evolve one level faster, which considering I'm instantly fighting, it's gonna feel pretty good. Ooh, this bard portal is taking him somewhere. <laughs> So here it's like it's mostly here just about map awareness, right? Like I'm I'm thinking about a bit about bot wave. I don't know, six is trolling going top. I'm thinking a bit about bot wave, but I'm also looking at the map, seeing what's happening, and then I see a fight that can impact and I move to it. And that's a skill that's not very hard, but some people can be pretty bad at it, even in high relos. They just autopilot tunnel walk to their own lane. Let's see if we can kill the Jax here. Okay, Lilia's here. Ush. Hello? Shine bright on this. I didn't get the Q on Jax, my bad. I think Jax can never dash in, so I can play really aggro on him. And I also have nearly infinite mana with uh, mana immune. Nice. Jax yeah, getting really poked down now. Okay, he didn't even press his E. But that's how you want to play tower dives like that. You want to play it really slow. You see, I do auto Q, I walk out, then I auto him again, then I walk out. And it's just like, there's no rush, you know? There's really, really no rush. If I end up not killing him and just chunking him and he runs out, that's fine. Because my goal is to just zone him off the wave and to get the tower. That's the real, real prize. Because now you'll see when we finish this tower, we're going to get so much gold. So that's what I really wanted. But diving him is like a, a bonus. If I get to kill him, I'm happy. If he lives, it's whatever. Because I still got, I mean, Pike took half of it. But we still got like 1k gold, you know, from getting the first tower. Oh, Pike's going to be crazy. Watch that. Okay, fighting. <laughs> and here again, it's like, if I kill them, I'm happy, but I'm not tunnel visioning that much on killing them. They're the ones who have to kill me. I don't have to kill them. If they kill me, they come back in the game. If neither of us kill anybody, their game is still doomed. But I'm just like hitting whoever I can hit, seeing what I can do. I use my ult very defensively to make sure I'm safe. Uh, yeah, works out. Let's see if we can uh, fight some more and see how strong we feel with these items. Well, that will get even stronger after I finish uh, more mana. Extra longsword, no, you don't need it. I don't need it anymore now, no. I have enough on my queue. But I'm not going to sell it until I have something real to buy with it. Like, I don't think selling it for an Abtome is worth. I use my ult there as an auto reset to get a bit extra damage so I can kill him. Good look here with my team to fight with them and ignore the mid wave. Ooh, Lux missing the Q on a CC target. Let's get this mid wave. I can hit mid tower more. I can keep extending my lead. Get a chunk there on Akshan. It wasn't that big because he has. I mean, it ended up being pretty big, but it could have been bigger if he didn't have bone plating. It's so satisfying to play with mana immune because, like, every time you broke it, you know you're doing a bit more damage, you know? What's that counter above uh, Kaisa's head? It's like the Akshan W. That you're like marked. 
Yeah, I mean, the six is making it very easy for us right now. <laughs> but this is a big part, like, why if you play really well, of course, assuming you're not smurfing, you can't, like, make enemy rage quit every game. But if you can be the person that never actually starts inting the game like this, you have an advantage over a lot of league players that just lose their mental so fast. So if you're playing well every game and able to abuse the enemy mistakes and start snowballing, your games will look really easy. And then the games where you fall behind, you can still make it really hard for the enemy team to actually win. Because the six isn't tilting because, like, he thinks I'm that good, probably. He's just tilting because he's far behind and he thinks the game is unwinnable. But if I was a worse player... I could have ulted to kill him. I guess I still can. Oh. Oh, GG. Well, I hope you still learned something, even though it was a shorty. Let's queue up again. Tyrocon. The mobility sounds nice against this, no? I mean, Draven is not bad as well. I think we have to go, maybe. I think we might just have to go, chat. I think we might just have to go. Dark Harvest Draven. I'd rather go Presence of Mind, I think, and, and cut down. I go cleanse? Nah. Still go BT first after nurse? That's what I'm thinking. Do I go BT first after nurse? Maybe I don't. Maybe I just go lethality. And I also have Nami for sustain. How do you fix mental on going boom after three Soliki games? Remember that you're playing to like improve in the long run. And that it's not just about this one game. My runes look so troll though. <laughs> but this will be interesting. I haven't played with Dark Harvest Draven in years. But you guys know I've been kind of addicted to Dark Harvest recently. And I love the fact that it's become way more of a stacking rune. With the fact that it doesn't have like a scaling, like it doesn't have a base scaling anymore. It's just, you get nine per soul. Okay. But this lane, level one, I don't think they're too scary. I think if they both go W, if I have two axes, we win. If I have one axe, they win. But I just want to hit the wave at the beginning. I could run uh, with buff and go with two axes. But I think if I do that, they could try to play for push. So I'm just going to start in lane with an axe. Conquer the go through rune for Zaya, not PTA. Bro, it's too much pressure now. I'm gonna choke it. But in this lane, it's like similar to the enchanter lanes I've played today. It's hard to really kill them. I just wanna get push and then poke them down. And that's how you play with most range supports. So I'm gonna be playing for push here. Looking to get autos wherever I can. For CS Dominions. I'm looking when Zaya wants to go for these creeps. Couldn't get it. It's all good. Dodge that Q. Try to drop the minion aggro from this minion. It's like posture up in the lane, pressure. She loses a minion. You can see she's just like slowly losing a few minions here and there. She has to choose between either losing HP or losing minions. And it's fine if I get a bit chunked because I have uh, a lot of sustain in Rakan. But now she's going to look to go for this minion. So I go for an auto. Now she's walking up again. I go for another auto. Now we hard push the wave because Leeson wants to either dive or invade. I think I take aggro here and then Nami took aggro. Nice. Oh. Well, maybe he trades. I didn't get the kill. But you guys didn't know what I did get. I got something priceless. Definitely not worth, no? Definitely not worth. But it's kind of worth for two reasons. One, we press tab, we see 3 CS Saya. That's pretty good. We look here, and we see 33 damage. That's so worth. Holy f that's so worth. And now I'm coming back to lane with one more longsword than Zaya has. I should have warded while entering lane here. That's a bit of a mistake by me, because I want to be able to see if Warwick's going to be here, or if he based. Probably Warwick based, but he could open back to bot. I think he had a blue buff, right? The Warwick? I'm pretty sure he's going to be running bot lane. Yeah, he's bot. That's what I was thinking. So there I'm like very cautiously trading with Rakan. Because I know that Warwick is probably there. But I'm making sure that I'm not like in danger. Because I'm thinking the Warwick could either stay on the map, or if he bases, he would probably open back to bolt. Because that's where he has camps. Okay, this I didn't expect, and this was what played to them. I don't know if we can kill them. I don't think we can. Nice. I want the Dark Harvest, baby. 
I might have died for the Dark Harvest, honestly. I'm not gonna flash for that. I might have died for the Dark Harvest, yeah. I might have died for it. But pretty damn worth, if I say so myself. I mean, I could have flashed to kill the Rakan, and I would have gotten BF Sword. Maybe it would have been worth to flash to kill the Rakan. Well, the Rakan might, maybe has flash. I'm not sure if he's flash. But 53 damage now? Oof, 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 oof. The Draven is a bit rusty. I dropped, I think, one more X than I should have. I think I had to drop one at the end there, but... Bro, why didn't the minions go on me? No, you need the melee minions. It should have been a freeze. Thai is looking to eat me here on these feathers. Trying to bait it out. Yeah, the feathers disappeared now. Can walk up. Kind of hard to trade into them. I want to push this wave and then I'll move to Lee Sin. Because my Lee Sin wants to do Drake. So I try to communicate like what I want to do as well. I don't know Warwick is here. I get six over this minion? I don't know. It's a bit hard to play this Drake now. Warwick is all six. I need six myself, I think, for us to play it. Oh, this is really awkward, by the way. I can cancel Warwick ult after it hits. If he ult is a teammate of mine. Oh, Quinn is here. Uh, then it's a bit hard, I think. Let's just base here. I should have stayed, maybe. Could have stayed for BF Sword. I really need BF Sword, to be honest. Like, basing right now on this is... Uh, and also, the fact that Mordekaiser didn't, like, ping anything about Quinn being missing is pretty bad. I think that would have helped us a lot. And just, like, when you play, if your laner is moving somewhere, you should always try to ping your team. Because they will usually respect, I think. And even if they don't, it's, like, a higher likelihood that they will if you ping it than otherwise. The Chovian Canyon is not... Uh, Oy, 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 that Nami ult was crazy. That Nami ult hit, I think we killed them, but... Or we got so fed off of the dives. Really, we're getting something on top, though. Which looks like we are, maybe. Can get all these minions, I think. Saros, nice. Nice, we get the Guardian. Should have ordered the ward. Maybe we can chunk them more and look to dive. You know, I wonder how close my ult is to killing her with Dark Harvest in my stacks. If I hit both parts, she definitely dies. Let's try to force her ulti. Ah, oh, she had barrier, I forgot. It's still using my ult for her. Barrier is not bad, I guess. Huge! Genuinely just huge. I have so much gold now. But with tempting to stay and I could get another BF. And I can buy Collector BF, you know. Like, holy shit, that's so much damage. Fine if I lose a wave for this. Like, if Sion now hard pushes this wave, I'll lose it. But that's fine with me. I'll get IE now, or I'll get uh, Collector now and a BF sword. Oof. Now, we are spiking shot. I was in a bit of an awkward spot, mostly just due to my items. Like, a lot. Of, sometimes you'll find that you fall behind a bit. Even though you're technically not behind. Like, I was ahead of the Zaya the whole time. But she had a BF sword while I had a pickaxe. So, she got, like, a better base than I did. Which meant that even though I was ahead in gold, in terms of actual items, my items were way weaker. So Quinn loves to roam. But somehow she's down... I, I don't understand how Quinn is roaming so much. If she's only down 3 CS. Like there, when this Quinn roamed, it is true, they could have tried to force my sums, I think. And they should have, but for some reason, they were so scared. Okay, let's get IE. Let's get a quick cloak. We're gonna start doing some real damage. L9, big daddy drave hand.
Maybe I could have killed Rakan. There I was not paying attention at all. Uh, like I didn't know where anybody was and then suddenly everybody was on my screen. There is more just about reactions than anything else. Sometimes you need to be able to react fast. Like even though I didn't see Rakan behind me, I could tell that people were behind me from how the Quinn was clicking up, you know? Like Quinn was full engaging on me, which made me think, oh, probably there's someone behind me. So I was very ready to react to it. A lot of the time when you're able to like react to things, it's because you've preemptively like thought about it as well, which helps. I could look to go on me here. I have no sums. I should hug both side because I know they're top side. Leeson is kind of going in. I didn't juke. I'm a noob. I'm dead maybe. Well, a really good uh, bubble plus ulti by Nami here. Oh, beautiful Nami. Killed me really well. Pretty easily died there, I think. Because I, I I chased the Lux like a noob, trying to follow the Leeson, and I didn't dodge her Q. Okay, let's base here. Get, uh... I might actually stay for one more wave. Uh, nah, let's just base. Do I go anti-heal? They have a Warwick for healing, I guess, but I think it's fine. I want I want the more AD that more Reminder has, and then I can also go Noon Quiver, which is a pretty good component. See, that Lee Sin is telling me exactly what I need to worry about. No F Drive and Care. It's true. I have no Flash in this next Drake fight. Need to be very careful for Recon Engage and Lux Bindings and uh, Warwick Ulti. Those are the biggest threats. So I need to be careful with that. Like here, for example, you can see I'm playing it really slowly. Trying to be really careful, but I might just be that. No. This just looks like it wasn't a very good fight. Yeah, our team was very far away. But you can see how far back I'm playing, making sure that I'm... Like, if my team was all there, I think this would have turned into a good fight. Because I actually didn't die and I was able to bait them so deep in. Uh... That was well played the uh, Deluxe, actually. And the damage was kind of crazy, too. I had barrier. We get the Drake for free. I'll just go to mid wave. It could be on Nash, actually. They're crazy. Now I have Flash, though, so now it's a lot easier to play. I also remember that Warwick flashed on me in last fight, so he has no Flash. I don't know about Recon Flash, so I'll just play as if it's up. I see Quinn trying to flank me here on mid. Cancel their dash. Two shot her. Then I juke up here to dodge the... Saya E. Run forward. The damage is pretty crazy. There you can see when I'm running down the Zaya, I know that catching my axe is not really that important. It's more just about not getting hit by the Zaya and being able to actually run her down. If I can do that, then uh, I should be able to kill her. And there I auto the plant just to keep my keep my axes running. To steal it. Oh, no way. That was a good attempt by Lux, actually. How much does my Dark Harvest do now? 140. Not that much. You can definitely tell that Dark Harvest is a lot bad, worse on Draven than Jin. Yeah, I don't know. We're kind of like staying, but we shouldn't stay. We should base. I have so much gold. Oh, now I'll do damage, actually. Oh my goodness. Quinn is flanking, or... To run into all the side feathers. I don't think Warwick can really... Oh. Well, they tried. Here, Ari is making a mistake going top. She should just come mid with us. Because we can just kill them on mid. If Like, if Ari now has ulti and she just ults forward, we just kill the Lux, you know? Maybe we can do it even without Ari, but... What Ari's doing is good if we don't have Nash, but when we have Nash, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't play this defensive. You can see Mordekaiser points it out. Oh, I dropped the next for no reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he ran us down. Warwick is really strong, yeah. I use my flash there, so I need to worry now a bit next fight. Because I don't have flash. BT Nurse is completely useless. The nurse is still viable. It's still viable, probably, but I'm more inclined now to go collector first. Yeah, okay, we got Drake spawning in 10. Isn't Hail Base better? Yeah, but Hollow Dark Harvest is more fun. And at the end of the day, what do we play this game for? Okay, I think they're trolling here. Probably we can clean up and kill them all. I hope. About. Okay, we got one, and then another Dark Harvest stack. Oh, my axis actually ran out. Well, I got another Dark Harvest stack. 17, baby! Soon, my one-shot dream will be alive and well. I think I go Rapid Fire last, or maybe Yuntal. In Rapid Fire, is pretty good. I could also go, like, Shield Bow. Is Yuntal still at BF? That has Pickaxe now. Let's go Pickaxe. Okay. I want to go the most damage. Rapid Fire is definitely the best item to go here.
you don't i don't need more damage more range helps a lot movement speed is nice as well but i want to see big numbers but once they didn't go on me insta i was thinking i was safe oh I guess I jinxed it. But why are they cheesing here? That was a pretty random cheese by them. Because if it was Lee Sin face checking here, and then Ari and me are behind, they just die. I mean, I don't really understand how to side land, but we end up getting a pick on Quinn. And we have Warwick and Mordekaiser are kind of collapsing. This is a very awkward spot for me to enter. Oh, she just killed Zion. I see red, literally. <laughs> God damn. Dark harvest, baby. Dark harvest, baby. I see red. Nice, nice. It was a good game. Very back and forth. Hopefully I got to showcase some things. And it's uh I think it's good game is a good example of like it's normal to make mistakes as well, you know? Like no matter the elo you are, no matter how good you are, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna int, you're gonna do silly things. And that's part of the game. It's part of life. Being able to accept that forgive yourself for it but also take accountability for it that one's always like a, yeah it's a big key in, in my opinion to improving most people that say like their team is super bad and that's why they can't climb they're on the delusional end and they're not able to take accountability but then you also have people on the other side of the spectrum that they beat themselves up so hard over their mistakes that they get ranked anxiety that they start kind of choking or playing really bad because they're so scared of making a mistake so it's interesting how like to really achieve a good mindset towards climbing you need to have a bit of both you need to both take accountability but also forgive yourself for your mistakes and accept that you know everybody's gonna make mistakes okay what are we playing chat we are into jinx here we got a little renata pick uh this could be a good samira i like samira renata kaisa is not the best with renata but it's also banned i think we do samira game chat i haven't played this champion in a while and uh yeah let's do a little little samira we will not be going Dark Harvest because that's definitely really bad. We got something like this. I think Sudden Impact is pretty good. I could have went Draven as well. Draven is good. Could have used Blitz or any other add-on? No. So this game, I think I'm not going to go Cleanse. Actually, it's a Zillion. So they have Zillion, Slow, Thresh Hook. There's a few things I could Cleanse. Thresh could also go Exhaust because we have Talon. Yeah, Thresh could go Exhaust because we have Talon. So I think I'm going to go Cleanse. That's a lot for the exhaust, to be honest. But I feel like the CC here is just these two, which isn't that scary. But... I think exhaust could be what Thresh has, and I really don't want to get exhausted. This lane, I think, uh, should be a pretty easy lane for us. Left we'll to see, though. I need to get good all-ins and not get poked down by Jinx's long range. There's also Trindomir W for slow, yeah. It's rare that you want to hit cleanse for Trindomir W, though. Yeah, this lane is, like, it's a lot reliant on my support. My goal in this lane is kind of just to not get poked until Renata finds a good Q. If, if I can do that then I'd say I'm playing the lane well. If I'm trading too much and getting too chunked so that my Renata can't really... It's not really engaging, right? But look for opportunities, then I'm inting. Isn't Jack Spectre the best ADC content creator? Isn't he? I think he is. You think about trades where your jungle is? 100%. What? He just face checks the bush? Go, go, go. Renata, why? You could just walk where I do. I'm gonna hold my spell. I was thinking maybe he'd flash away and then I could E on him, you know? Oh, we killed him, so it's all good. But I don't know why Renata didn't walk around. Because then she wouldn't have needed to flash, you know? Really good start, though. Enemy team was a bit stupid. First blood on my champ, so it's really good. I also have uh, eyeball collection, so I get extra AD. I want to wait a bit with last hitting these minions so that Renata doesn't lose XP. Nice, she's in range now. Want to make sure I didn't get hooked. Nice. Could have gotten one more auto on the Jinx, that was my bad. Walk up here to make sure we get level 2 first. Although I think I didn't need to actually queue the wave, because they actually respect it a lot. They started walking back. Probably they're scared because they know Nidalee is behind them. But yeah, I do. I Like, all my trades, somewhat, are based on jungler. Like, if enemy jungler is bot, I trade way more carefully. Or rather, if I know that my jungler is top and I don't know where enemy jungler is, I trade way more carefully. While if I know enemy jungler is top and my jungler is both side, I will trade like a maniac. Because any trade when your jungler is on your side of the map and enemies on the opposite side of the map is usually good. Nice. Speaking of junglers. No, don't knock him away. I could kill him. I think I could have killed the Jinx there if I flashed for her, but 
It's still a good outcome. Pinx doesn't stay, no? Oh my gosh, she does. I'll take that any day of the week. The wave should be good even though I eat it. Oh yeah, Sek is going into crazy mode. I wanted Renata to W me before I went in. Because she did spam ping her W. And I was thinking maybe I could kill two people. But she didn't W me, so pretty well for me. Like she has a long sword, I have a BS sword. And of course the first blood helps. But if I didn't uh, get that kill, I would only have Dirk, I think. I don't want Nidl... Like, you don't need to open to uh, Crab here. Come bolt. Nidalee can get this Crab on her own. But don't base. Just walk, but... Okay, well, no. What should happen here, what I wanted to happen here, is that I don't let them crash, and I actually end up fighting them here and killing them. Um, but now, because Renata did this roam, they can actually crash the wave. It's hard for me to really stop them. Maybe we can try to dive the Jinx, that's my thought process and why I'm hard pushing the wave. I think we can dive her, I'm trying to ping my Renata to make her understand that I want to dive. Jinx has no sum, so this dive should be pretty free. Yeah, we can dive her for sure. My Renata does not know how to dive with Renata, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so how you dive with Renata is you W yourself as Renata when you take aggro, and then you die, and then I kill the Jinx, then she respawns. You don't flash out. It's fine. It's still good. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trolling here. Oh, he didn't pull him to me, though. But he's trolling here. Dodge the Q, nice. I didn't get the E reset off of the sack kill, unfortunately. It's because I know Sack really wants to Q me there after he eats the wall. I'm moving up and down, getting ready to juke it, trying to make my movement unpredictable. And I end up dodging it. I didn't even need the... Nice. Huge. Let's base here. I mean, here it's a lot about just knowing limits. I know that I'm way stronger than their bot lane, so if I play it well, I can zone them in between towers, because Jinx misplayed. She stayed for way too long when she should have based. Because she didn't base, I knew that I can start fighting the Thrash. If Jinx walks up, I can kill her. That's exactly what happened. So what Jinx should do is just base ASAP and then come back to lane with full HP. And then she can't get zoned like that. But because she makes that mistake, I know I can 1v2. Because it wasn't really a 1v2, right? Jinx was like 100 HP. And uh, now Jinx loses so much. Now she's down 30 CS. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing now. She's like kind of walking up. Oh, nay. Oh, that was a bit scary. That was a good trap by Jinx. I nearly into dashing into it. I think I just base again, honestly. I'm so low. I don't know where Sack is as well. He's not on uh, grubs, so... I'm gonna take another base here. Don't want to give away my shutdown. And it's like, the plate is high HP. I'm not gonna stay here and hit this tower and do all this. You know, it's just like, waste of time, kind of. Backseating enemy support, trying to give him some tips. Uh, let's calm it down, Beast. You haven't... Hasn't been your best performance, maybe. Now Jinx is mental. She starts going mid lane. People go mental in League so fast, bro. So fast. This is like the craziest part about this. They go mental, and it's like this is not low elo. You know what I mean? This is diamond two, diamond one, which is top, top, top what? Top one percent? Zero point five percent? I don't know. It's it's a high high percentage for sure. And still, it's like oh, my Renata just flashed. I mean, Cillian has ult here. Hard to kill them. What's she supposed to do? I mean, I think her going mid lane is good, but she should have pushed out bot first. Because she knew I based, so she could have went bot, pushed that out, and then went mid. But unironically, this is not bad. Because it's way harder for me to kill Zillion and punish Zillion than to punish her. Like, look at this. I'm just perma slow. She should have went mid lane, but she's not going mid lane for the right reasons. You know what I mean? She's not going mid lane because she thinks it's a good play to do. She's just going mid lane because she probably wants to, like, it's going mid lane or leaving the game. That's our two options at this point. But I don't really want to dash in because I know that Cillian has ulti. That's what I'm scared of here. But maybe if we can make them both low, then I have W here ready to react if Thresh is about to land hook on me. So that's why I'm, like, able to play really aggressive under tower. It's really nice to play Samir into Thresh because you can always block his hook. I didn't land that Q. 
Here I walk back as I see my Renata Hex flashing to try to bait them to walk up, you know? Ah, I f***ed up a bit here. I think I could have killed them. Oh. I didn't need to flash. Literally had a good heal for me. Nice. I don't think... I mean, we could stay for full bolt tower. Stay for full bolt tower, I guess. Ah. Takes too long, no? I don't know if she's ulting... Oh. Oh, I should have blocked that for her, not that I could have killed her. Sometimes I forget that I can block her teammates. And I'm just thinking if I dodge it, I don't need to do anything. I can go mid now, and Talon takes bolt wave. So here, a classic mistake that a lot of people would make, is they just autopilot go bolt. But if your mid laner takes the bolt wave, just go mid. And it's also at this point, I'm really fine with staying mid. Because if I can keep going against the Jinx... I can just keep farming her. It's also in general around 14 minutes is kind of when you want to start going mid lane because you want to be on mid lane so that you can contest either. I didn't see the minion. I could have dashed out. I don't know what that thresh was doing. He just walked into me. You want to be mid lane so that you can either contest Drake or Harold. Because if you're both lane fighting Drake for your team, it's going to be really hard. Or fighting Harold, I mean, for your team. I mean, there I'm looking to queue the Jinx Perma every time she's going for the CS, and then my damage is a bit absurd, so she just dies. Oh. I don't know if he has passive. Oh, he didn't have passive. Nay. Good, uh, good hook by Thrash. Psych has passive will show like GA. It's true, yeah. I forget to check it always. I forget to check if Psych has passive. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, call me old school. I like to click on their character and then see the icon top left. That's what I always do. I don't know. That's what I always did and always used to do. You really need LDR when you're two items ahead. It just makes my damage go so crazy. Like, collector LDR, it's just those two items synergize with each other so well. Is Samira back or is she still bad? The buff was definitely decent. And I think she's okay in games where you have uh, either a really good engage support like Rel or you have Renata, but she's still pretty niche and I think not crazy good. You really need to snowball on her. But if you do snowball, she's like one of the best snowballing champs in the game. I'd really like, to be honest, if you're going to play Samira, you kind of need a duo. I think if you have a duo, this champion is so much better. Because then you guys can be coordinated when you go in. Because Samir is all about the all-ins, you know? Like, if your support does not all-in where you can't follow, the lane is lost. If uh, they don't all-in when you need them to all-in, the lane is lost. If your support blind picks an enchanter like Nami or Lulu when you pick Samir, the lane is lost. You just need a lot of things. He's kind of tanky, that guy. I guess he did get big shutdowns. Okay, Renata. Well, any more damage? That's the conclusion. Uh, yeah, I think the Nami is not, is probably the best enchanter apart from Renata with Samira. At least I've heard that from Samira mains. I've never actually played it because if I have Nami, I'd rather much rather play Lucian, Ezreal, or Jin. But I can see how it's not that bad because she gives you a lot of bursts, so you can dash in on your own. But you'd definitely rather have a Rel or something with CC, that's for sure. I always say that the ADC should go mid, but there's like you should still look for resources elsewhere on the map. If there's free waves to farm then you should take it. Like, now I got to push three waves. But if I got went mid lane, I only would have gotten, like, one wave. I think I should be fine here. Close. He had flash, actually. But Renata W should be really good against Trinomir. I didn't get to see if Sack had passive or not. Did he have the GI icon? He's gonna hit top tower here. I think I can stay for next wave and get the top tower on next wave. I'll go join the middle lane and see if I can... Oh, nothing to do here. I'll just get the tower and then base again. I'm gonna go BT next item. I want some more lifesteal. Or maybe shield bow is better. Get 100% crit. Yeah, maybe we just go shield bow. Oh. <laughs> uh, I thought he may be ulted already. Nay, don't walk with me to the bomb. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't have flash now, so... 
We'll have to play fights a bit differently, but I have four items. I have Renata W. Try to get the mid wave. It's always mid wave into play. Now I'm going to be hovering bot, help my team secure this tower, and get the word with Renata. Keep hovering. There's no mid wave. I have nothing to do. Nothing happens. I go back to mid because now there's going to be a mid wave again. This is kind of like the ping pong you play when you're ahead. You get mid wave into rotating into mid wave. Oh, that hit me. That's so good. I don't want to dash into Trinomir. Okay, nice. Get him, TK, get him! I mean, and actually? I'm not so sure. We can try. Yeah, let's uh, base again. Finish boots. I think I sell my, uh, sell my uh, D-Blade for Vamp Scepter. Let's go uh, Merc Treads maybe, no? Maybe Merc Treads is good here. They have a lot of uh, small annoying CCs. Their comp is kind of funny actually. They have Trindamir, Zillion, Sack. All with revives. Or like, that with Trindamir he doesn't die, right? Stuff like that is actually really good into Samira because she really relies on resets. So if you have champions that can deny her that. Like Renata is really good into Samira, for example. Okay, I'm in thing, I think. Maybe, maybe I'm fine. Nice. I walked way too far up there and gave Sack. I mean, we gave Sack like a four man. We should be able to maybe end on this midway. We shouldn't just run mid like here. We should be uh, going bolt and getting all the inibs, and then the game becomes a lot easier to end. But we're getting a bit impatient. Spacing here back and forth so that I don't give Thresh an E angle on me. Let's end the game. I kind of want to get like some kills first. Pena, 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 Pena. GG. GG. A bit of early game cheese snowballing. Like I got the kill on Thresh, right? I traded one for one with Jinx under tower. I knew that that would be really good because her way was kind of... I get the kill and sh her support gets the kill. But also, just in general, when you play champions like Samira, Draven, Kalista, trading one for one a lot of the time is really good for you because it just makes it more volatile, more explosive, and it makes it easier for you to like continue snowballing with the gold that you do get. Because if you both get gold, but I get like eyeball collection stack, I get my item, it's going to be really nice for me.